Hello, this is Neoflight. I have uh, my first version of the Iceblock Survival Extreme. You can see I have the settings uh, set at default. It's in hard, um, no coordinates, and there's a behavior pack installed and a resource pack. And right now I have multiplayer off, but this is a great map for playing multiplayer. And you can put it on a realm and it should work fine. Okay, so yep, you start in this uh, frozen ocean. It's kind of, uh, it freezes over quickly as you're in there. And you can see in the chat that I have a score initialized and complete there. And you can see your score over here. Um, it starts at 1500 and it counts down when you die or other events happen. So I'm going to just go down and dig up some gravel before some drowns spawn. And if you use the swim technique, you have a little bit more leeway than if you just use the crouch. And then I like to place down my first piece of gravel just so that um, I have kind of a point of reference that lets me know where I've been digging. There's benefits to digging in the same location. Let's see if I can get another piece of gravel. So far I've been pretty lucky there's no drowns. And I've just started with a bunch of different strategies. Sometimes I start by just getting as many fish as I can. Um, this time I'm just going to start by trying to get as much gravel as I can. Yep. Let's see if I can get one more. This is kind of the grindy part. But you need the resources to get uh, mobs to spawn. So I also like to just kind of keep an area open. That way I'm safe when I return to the surface. And it's kind of easier to keep an area open. And I aim for like a 5x5 five five area. Plus, uh, drowns won't spawn if there's a complete ice layer. Actually, none of the mobs will spawn underwater if there's a complete ice layer. Oh, there's my first drown. Yep. Okay, so what I like to do is just kind of bait them to the surface. I'll go down and hit them a couple times, and then uh, when they start swimming, I'll just keep going up and try not to go up too fast because they'll lose interest. So this map is kind of inspired by uh, Skyblock in that uh, you just kind of start with basic things and everything that you achieve, <clears throat> excuse me, you just kind of gain along the way. And hopefully, uh, maybe with a version 2, I'll have some uh, achievements that you can go for along the way. Oh, look at that. I got my first... Oh, great. Planks. Planks are great because uh, you need them for the crafting table, which is kind of the basis for everything, so that's great to get one so early. Another strategy is to kind of wait for the wandering trader to spawn, but uh, he hasn't spawned yet. We'll see if one spawns in this this round. I'm going to keep these to five minutes each time just to uh, give people an introduction, and I don't want to spoil everything. Again, I'm going to just kind of keep this area open. This is only a 4x4, but that's okay. Right now I don't really want a ton of drown spawning. I just want to make sure that I'm not going to drown myself before I get up to the surface. I would say about half the time there's a wandering trader before the first five minutes, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get one today. Alright, well, I'll just keep getting some gravel and stuff. That's my goal. 
and uh, you can see it's starting to freeze over.